Hi all, this is Paula from Slice Mania. Today I'm going to show you how to create icons using AutoDraw. First of all, you'll need to go to autodraw.com. You will be presented with this blank canvas where you can draw, uh, draw anything you like. And you have to keep in mind that the image or whatever you create here it will be saved as an image. So recoloring afterwards will be a little bit uh, hard. So if you want your icon to be a different color, you have to pre-select it here. I'm gonna go with blue because I'm gonna teach you a little, I'm gonna show you a little uh, hack to change a color uh, afterwards, but uh, it's better if you just pre-select the color that you need here. The tool that we're gonna use is this one over here, Auto Draw. What is, it has magic in it. <laughs> For example, if I need to draw, I need an icon that uh, represents a light bulb, for example, I'm just gonna draw it here and I'm gonna create this. So, and here is the magic. I'll draw is asking me, what did I mean? So I meant this. I'm sorry, I'm gonna undo that because now I have to, to select. I'm gonna move it over here. I'm going to resize my canvas because I don't need a lot. Now, the second thing that you have to keep in mind is that AutoDraw will save you a PNG file, but it will not save uh, a transparent background. It will be saved uh, with a white background. So we want to fix that. So I'm going to go to the menu. I'm going to hit download. And I'm going to go to remove background. I'm going to upload it here. And I'm going to download it. Now I'm going to go to my presentation and I'm going to drag my image, my icon here, the one I fantastically drew. And um, like I said before, it's an image, so the color will be blue unless I do this. I'm going to go to format with my image selected. I'm going to go to format options and I'm going to choose recolor and I will be able to change its color a little bit. These colors are given by the theme color, so that's why they kind of represent these colors over here. So if I want that, I'm gonna just do that. If I want to add uh, like a little drop shadow, I can do so. And if I want it, I don't know, red maybe, I can do that. It's not the same color because you're recoloring an image, but it kind of works. And the fantastic thing about this is that you can just create as many icons as you need. If, if I want to draw, I don't know, a school maybe or something, I'm going to just do some windows over here. And there's another here. And see what it offers me. Okay, well, that's a hospital. I didn't mean that. This one over here. Okay, now I have my icon here. And I have checked it all, but it has a ton of different icons that you can choose from. And again, remember to download it, use Remove Background to remove its background, and upload it to your uh, presentation. Um, or choose the color you want first or recolor it from here. I hope it's useful. Bye.